sitting only two or three shots. I'ma show you how to turn it up a notch. First, you get a swimming pool full of liquor. What's up guys, Peter here with some new NBA 2K17 My Park news. It is still rolling out and today is going to be 9 new My Park badges and what they do. I did find an article that had a lot of important information about these new park badges so if you could drop a like that would mean a lot. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe for more NBA 2K17 content. I'm going to be pushing a lot more videos out and let's get right into it. So as we all know, we do have these park badges. Nobody really knows uh what they all are and nobody has all of them so the only way you're gonna find all of them and find what all of them do is from a leak from 2k right so i did find this article and this states every single park badge in nba 2 a 17 all the new park badges and what they specifically do as well as how this new park badge system works so as we all know we have badges that you can earn in my career and badges that you can earn in park but nobody really has any of those park badges yet based on the people that i've played with maybe like one or two but nobody has all nine right so this is all nine right here this is the article so uh first it states that park badges playing in the park is different from playing in the nba such as my career so to help make these park players stick out we have added park badges park specific badges that you can only earn in the park right having these i think he meant badges will definitely give you a leg up in the park so it'll really help i don't think as much as hall of fame badges but they're unique to park right so uh it's nothing like that we have like with the regular badges that you're in the micro right in total there are nine my park badges yes there are nine so Starting with the first one, game point. Are you the player that you take the big shot? So basically, if you're playing threes, if you need to win right away, if you want to hit a three, uh, are you going to be the one relying on to take that shot? This badge gives you a player boost uh, when taking that game winning shot. So say you're at 18 or 19 or 20 or the game is really close. The point margin is less than two and it's over 21. Uh, whatever the circumstance is, if you are taking a game winning shot, you will have a boost onto making it. That's an awesome badge. Keep in mind, all of these badges you will earn by doing what the badge boosts you with. So, for example, game point. This applies to pretty much every badge here. Uh, if you make a lot of game winning shots, then you'll get the badge that helps you make even more game winning shots. So, keep that in mind while you are, uh, or while I am going through this list. Road Dog, do you like to travel to other rival courts in the park? This badge will give you a boost when playing in a rival's park. So, rival, I don't know that that means like anti up stage. I think it's only the other two affiliations. We had a badge similar to this. It was called Road Dog, but it was for my career. And if you went to like an away game, then you would have a boost on whatever attributes, right? Seven O's, the human highlight film, boost teammates energy and defensive attributes when making a highlight play. So say you dunk on somebody, you break somebody's ankles, anything like that. It will boost your teammates energy. So I guess they'll have less fatigue or they'll fatigue less and uh, they'll have better defense. Iron Man, lose less energy while playing park games. So just very simple badge, uh, you'll fatigue less. Bone Collector, now this was probably supposed to be another line, uh, another typo. Increase your chance at breaking the ankles of your defender. So not only is like do we have Ankle Breaker Hall of Fame if you are point forward or playmaker, we have Bone Collector. So imagine Bone Collector uh, mixed with Hall of Fame Ankle Breakers and it's a grind to get Hall of Fame Ankle Breaker. That's, that's gonna be awesome. Uh, next badge, Legend Takeover for users who tend to be higher rep players add a boost to you and your teammates during games versus higher rep players. So if you go and drop off some superstars, then uh, if you consistently do that, you'll get this badge. And whenever you play, say superstars or even when there's legends, uh, this will obviously like there'll be a more common badge when more people are higher rep, but you'll just have boosts playing against them. Park Bully, prepare for flexing your muscle in the park. Okay, uh, this badge will make opponents think twice before coming into the paint. So I'm assuming it just boosts like your blocking attributes or uh, maybe even when they go in the paint, you'll like do one of those really hard foul animations, but it won't actually call a foul. But I don't know how you would be able to get this badge. Maybe you get a lot of blocks. I'm not exactly sure. Winners only. Winners win, go on a win streak, and your player will heat up quicker than normal. So basically, say if you're on like a 20 game win streak and you have this badge, then you might, it's kind of like equivalent to having microwave on gold or like having instantly hot or something like that, right? Streak breaker, be a team on a winning streak and earn a rhythm boost for you and your teammates in the next game. So basically, it gives you momentum after you beat somebody's streak so you can go on a streak yourselves. I'm not exactly sure what the rhythm boost is. If you do know, put in the comment section below. But yeah, those are the nine park badges. Uh, we do have have every single one of them with all the details so tell me what you guys think of these tell me if you have any park badges and which ones you have in the comment section below but anyway that is about it for this video anyway thank you guys for watching drop a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you are new and i'll talk to you guys in the next one peace